Hello, um, I'm Alison Hales. I'm one of the senior lecturers on the primary QTS programme. I'm also head of placements and placement partnerships. I was a primary school teacher for a number of years before I joined the university. I've been with the university for about 12 years now and my area of expertise is primary history. So I've published and I've written on primary history. Um, so if you, if you come to join us, you'll, you'll see me for your, for your history sessions. So let me tell you about some of our placements that you might experience um, depending on the, on the programme that you choose. If you're on the QTS programme, you will go into schools, again, it may range from two weeks up to eight or nine weeks. One of our education programmes, again, that they will vary in length depending on the route that you're, chain, uh, that you're choosing. So let me give you an example. If you join our QTS Year 2 programme, you will have some days in, uh, in, in the setting the, for professional development, so some professional development days, and then you would go in for a seven week block in the autumn term. Alongside that, in Year 2, you would go into an, uh, an, do an enrichment placement, which is two weeks, and that will be in an in alternative setting. So you're getting the idea of education in the wider context. And that might be in settings such as museums, hospital schools. We've had students in the past go to uh, special schools, work with London Ambulance. And we've also had some students who have worked in schools abroad. So when you go into the placements, you're going to be working alongside trained mentors and other expert colleagues to ultimately develop your professional practice depending on the route that you, you've chosen. So you're going to be working with um, children or young learners and you will be um, perfecting your teaching skills, uh, you will be thinking about how the theory leads into practice, so the theory that you learn in the university and, and, and what that looks like in, in actual practice. The benefits of going into a placement is that you're getting a range of experiences. So it may be that you're, you are in a small rural um, primary school or early year setting uh, and then you will have the opportunity to go into perhaps a, um, a larger, urban, very diverse setting. So we're able here at Greenwich to offer you a range of, of, of experiences in, in that way. You're also going to be able working alongside those trained mentors and expert co colleagues in, in the setting. You are developing your personal and your professional attributes. Um, what we would expect somebody of, uh, who, who graduates from Greenwich um, to have. So the types of placements will depend on the route that you have chosen um, when you come to study here at Greenwich. So it could be that if you're on a QTS programme that you may go, if you're choosing the early years route, you're going to an early year setting. If it's primary, it's a primary school, secondary or a further education uh, setting if you're, going, if, if you're choosing the further education uh, route. The, Length of the programmes will um, differ, so it depends on the programme itself and the stage of, uh, stage of development within that programme will depend on the length. But let me give you an example. So if you were to choose our primary QTS programme in year two, you would, um, you would have some professional development days. You would then go into a block placement in the autumn term, which lasts for seven, seven weeks. After that, later on in the, in the academic year, in, towards the, the summer, you'll do a two-week enrichment placement. And that's working in an alternative setting, so you get to see education in the wider context. And you might be in settings such as museums, uh, libraries. We've had students who have worked in uh, school hospitals, in special schools. We've also had students who have worked abroad for, for those two weeks. So we work really closely with our partners. Um, they are instrumental in, in our work at university um, in terms of helping us uh, 
develop our curriculum so that we can ensure that, that you as a learner are getting the very best of um, the best education in terms of recent research and, and practice that is out there. So they, we share expertise. We're, we may have colleagues who come into the university who will take lectures and, and workshops and likewise we will go into schools and settings as well uh, and work with colleagues um, within the school. We couldn't, we couldn't work without our partners. Um, so we, we pride ourselves on that, that really close collaborative working relationship with them.